What's up everybody? I'm stressed. So you're probably wondering, why am I so stressed? And the main answer to that is because of school. Finally changed out of my scrubs and everything. Anyways, school, yeah. Super stressed about it. I have requirements, I have exams, I have all these patients that I need to manage and call and make sure they come in and everything like that. I'm the assistant, I'm the scheduler, I make sure that all the patients are up to date with everything that they need to get done and whatnot. So it's stressful. And I don't know, maybe you're like me where you have a family to also tend to, you have a house that you gotta work on, you got all these different reasons why you could be stressed. And it's very easy for it to just kind of boil up to the point to where you feel like you don't really have much time to do anything. But that's why it's important to find hobbies and things like that. Anyways, speaking of stress and everything, I'm going to kind of let you in on this little secret that helps me figure out how to get through the week and everything and how to not let stress run my life. But first, there's something we got to do. All right, so the lawn is actually kind of overgrown now. So I'm gonna be mowing this with an all electric lawn mower. Never done it before. Not really sure what to expect. It's this hyper tough, it's brushless. It comes with two 20 volt batteries. So we got 40 volts. I'm not really sure what to expect, but let's see how it goes. One thing I like about it is that it catches all the brush here. So, um, in order to get it out, you just lift this little lever, and I'm gonna try to do it without getting all of it, spilling all of it. But I mean, that's the whole yard. Pretty easy cleanup. Not bad. Like I said, I like the lawnmower. It's pretty good considering that it's a, an electric lawnmower. If you're like me and your yard is like pretty small, you know, not, not really even much of a yard, I think it'd be good to invest in one of these little electric lawnmowers. Personally, I've only used gas ones my entire life and it felt like gas ones have way more power. But with that being said, like this little lawnmower did its job in like five minutes. But if you have like a bigger yard and you really need like more power to get through it, definitely, definitely, definitely go for the gas powered lawnmower. This one, I don't think it would be worth the investment if your yard is pretty big. All right, gonna go to the trails. We're gonna run today. I don't really have a plan. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna try to do three miles. Pretty easy, nothing too crazy right now. Just kind of a way to get my legs going and everything like that. But uh, let's go see how it goes. So yeah, sure, I'm stressed and everything and school is always gonna be stressful, but you know, the one thing that really helps me out, especially when I'm really stressed out, is running, working out. It's a great outlet. It's a great way to ease stress. It's so good for your body. It's so good for your mind. And that's what I'm doing. Also, March 3rd, I'm going back and doing the Run the Alamo half marathon. It's going to be pretty fun. Signed up with it with like three weeks to train, so we'll see how it goes. This will be a training run for it today. All right, 
Last mile of the run. This is what we train for. That's how I feel. Like trash. Okay, just finished. That was hard. I ran that pretty hard. The last portion of that run all the time is like a quarter mile all uphill. So that was pretty tough, but I feel a lot better. Honestly, not so stressed out anymore. That's my little trick. Just the act to go for a run. I have about three weeks until the half marathon and we're getting there. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. In the meantime, I'm going to stretch. Always stretch after your runs and we'll go back home. By the way, it's not bad to be stressed out. I mean, everybody has it and everybody has their own ways to cope with it. Mine's just running. And I think about it all the time. Like, if you want to start a new hobby, like for example, I'm making these little stupid videos and putting them out on the internet. I keep thinking, if I would have done it like a year ago, or two years ago, or three years ago, how much better would I be at it now if I had started then compared to like if I just started now? So keep that in mind. But anyways, run's complete. It was just a short run, less than an hour, but I ran it harder than I usually do. Not a zone two run. It is a 4.07 miles, 1051 minute per mile pace. Average heart rate was 175. So like I said, I ran it harder than I usually do, and there's nothing wrong with that. 20% of my runs are ran a little harder. I prefer heart rate training. So, I mean, for this one to be up to 175 and the way I felt like I was moving, I feel like, you know, heart rate training is doing pretty well. Anyways, let's go back to the house. All right, so I'm back home and uh, I just wanted to show you guys something pretty cool. So I ended up getting some new shoes, some new running shoes from REI not too long ago. They're the Saucony Ride 16s. They feel pretty good. Uh, I haven't actually ran in them. I just kind of walked around with them. I'd say I scored a deal. I mean, they were like, they were $83. So my regular training shoes are these Hoka's. I've probably put like over a thousand miles on these shoes and they're still holding up really well. So I'm gonna start incorporating these Saucony's in here and seeing how they go. I mean, I'll let y'all know like on the next run I do, what I think about them and everything. My normal race shoe is the Saucony, I think they're the Saucony Endorphin Pro 2s. Pretty cheap on Amazon, but every single race I've ever done with them has been good on my part. So. We'll see how these go. With that being said, guys, thank you for watching the video and I'll see y'all in the next one.